Wow. Wow, look at this. Yeah, yeah. So you don't actually get a bath in these ones. Here we go, we're just walking no, from the hotel. Um, we're still on empty. We're still on You know, would you have been able to answer them questions? You certainly will win. So, yeah, fantastic. So warm in this hotel. Let's get into the special in this hotel now and find out what's going on in here. In the actual hotel, by the look of it to yourself. So, uh, good night, Jay. Right, let's pan round and find. Bye. Okay, it's the morning after, and we are all up and ready to go for breakfast. And I think it is a very much needed breakfast this morning. So, did you have a good night's sleep, Emma? Yeah. You did. And you were on the sofa bed last night, wasn't you, with this one here? Holly, did you have a good night's sleep? Yeah. Yeah, and which one was you in? The bottom yeah, one. Bottom but when I woke up, um, I thought I was at Mum's house, but oh. I was actually in the hotel. I oh, know. And then Jake, with your goggles on again, did you have a good time? Yeah. Did you have a good night's sleep? Yeah, I woke up pretty late. You did wake up pretty late, didn't you? Yeah. You woke up and said, sorry, I woke up late. You didn't really. <laughs> so, yeah, we are now off to go and have breakfast, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Would you rate the room? How do you rate the room? Good? Five out of five. How many? Uh, Five out of five? Five out of five? 100 out of 100. Oh, and Emma? Uh, thousand out of a thousand. Well done, that's a brilliant. And the same for me as well, I think it's a great room as well. Um, really like the upgrades that they've done for this room. So yeah, let's go and have some breakfast. Included in your stay uh, here at Hawking Towers. So, yeah, we are ready for the things, aren't we? This will be the last time we'll be able to film around this particular area. You're not allowed to film while being here, but we are allowed to film this little area just here. So, that's it, guys. Are you looking forward to the slides? Are you looking forward to the slides? Are you looking forward to the slides? 
and the big bucket as well. The challenge is these guys got to lie under the big bucket and see if they can stay there. But also at the same time, these guys will be able to experience for the first time the Master Blaster water coaster that they have here as well. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Anyway, guys, we'll speak to you all soon. finishes our day here at uh, the Splash Landings Hotel and also our reservation is now finished. What an absolutely fantastic uh, kind of time that we've had here. Uh, so we've just literally come out of the water park, uh, absolutely fantastic time in there. Uh, stayed there for the full three hours before kind of uh, closing and now we'll be on our way over to the actual park itself to go into the Mutiny Bay area. And just a little kind of side tip for you which is something I found out when I was actually in there. If you go on the two slides, the rush slide um, and the other slide, which is the dark one, uh, when you sit down in your rubber ring, there's some buttons at the side. If you click that button, you can actually get different variations of music as you're going down and lighting effects. So if you press the big seven, you'll get a random big seven soundtrack. So obviously I had the Smiler, Jake had Galactica, um, and then Emma had Nemesis or something like that as well. Oh, no, so I it's, had it's, Oh, sorry, Jake had Nemesis. So absolutely fantastic really so yeah it's just a little thing i've never noticed that before and i've been in here now three times so yeah it's definitely worth uh, picking up on that one as well jake did you enjoy your time yeah it's good yeah yeah it's a good little interactive thing yeah yeah and obviously you got a water coaster there which you don't you sit in a room yeah that was quite good it was wasn't it that was your first yeah. time on a water coaster you liked it yeah, I thought water coasters were like rock games. No, they're not. No. You, it's basically like a thing that pushes you through, doesn't it? So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so you enjoyed the water park. You've enjoyed your stay here? Yeah. And what would you rate your stay? One, one, one thousand out of ten. Oh, one thousand out of ten. Wow. Yeah, so really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. We are now going into Mutiny Bay, so and this vlog might continue, but I just wanted to kind of close this one off here, uh, just in case. But, you know, we'll, we'll open it up and kind of see, but if there's obviously just a few things to do, uh, we'll kind of keep that separate. Uh, if there's a lot to do, so we'll keep that separate. If there's only a little bit of things to do, then we'll obviously just add it and bolt it onto the remainder of this one as well. It looks like this might be a two-parter, because it obviously went on for quite a long time. I just want to show the hotel off quite a lot and obviously show you around the room and everything that we needed to as well. So I've really enjoyed it. Jake's really enjoyed it. So we'll close it off now. If we don't come back, obviously, uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, there'll be a next vlog. There is more to come still and more kind of vlogs. The next trip for us really is Legoland, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to Legoland for Brick Week, so we'll be there to, and we're going to meet some of our friends there, aren't we? And we'll be filming a vlog while we're at uh, Legoland as well, okay? Yeah. Right then, guys, that is pretty much it. We'll speak to you all soon. Oh my God, it is so great to be here at Horton Towers before opening season to see Mutiny Bay and also at the same time see an absolutely fantastic themed ride at the Wicker Man. So yeah, we're pretty much coming in. The Sea Life Centre is pretty much open uh, for us to go into. But why would not just come over here and observe to feed the flames, the Wicker Man? So it looks like there is some kind of maintenance and bits going on um, over there at the moment. Um, what, why the uh, the park is closed, which is great. So I wonder kind of what stuff they've been doing in terms of. I take it will be track repairs, uh, just making sure that everything uh, is flowed ready for the kind of open season, which pretty much you know won't be very much longer now. It'll kind of fly by. No, no Blackpool is open. Uh, you will generally find now that the um, uh, you know Alton Terrace will follow suit soon as well, and obviously Fort Park will be the uh, the first one after that as well. Jake, what's it like seeing the Wicker Man? Good. I mean, there is some amazing things going on. I wish that was open. Yeah. Because then I can get on it now, attentionally now. Yeah, you can indeed. You are tall enough now. Yeah, there is going to be a few attractions open. Yeah, like, hopefully so. Yeah, it would be nice to go and see. Basically, like the shark, the reef and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. 
Brilliant, yeah, but look at that, the old wicker man, beautiful. So yeah, we've, um, it would be amazing for it to be open, but unfortunately not quite yet. Uh, so Emma, what do you think, looking at the wicker man? It's good. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, you'll be on it this season as well, won't you? So you were tall enough last year, but just didn't quite want to go on it, did you, at that time? Yeah, it's only about six. Mm-hmm, so yeah, so that will be the plan this year, is to get Emma onto that beautiful if thing I over did, there. I've been on Icon, so I'll go on You've it. been on Icon now, yeah? Everyone has seen yeah, that now. Yeah, uh, Wicker Man doesn't go upside down properly. It doesn't, no. So yeah, there you go, Wicker Man. Like I said, it's not the actual best full ride in the world, um, but what it is, is probably one of, the, one of the best themed ones as well, which I really, really enjoy. Um, so yeah, it's just quite nice to see this area. I'll show you around this little bit as best as I can do to see if there's anything that we can see in terms of sneaky updates or anything, um, or kind of just see any uh, kind of new things that's going on. We'll speak to you all in a bit. Jake's waited so long to actually get in the park, he's actually turned into a skeleton. Jake? Hello, Jake? Jake? You're too early. Jake? Hello? No. No. He's gone. He's been waiting so long for the, actually the theme park to open. He's turned into a bit of a skeleton. Oh well. So here we go. It actually gives us quite a nice little kind of time to, you know, kind of look at some of the rides that are open. So just kind of standing in front of originally what was called the teacups. Um, so this actually opened in uh, the 28th of March, 1987. So quite an old ride now, actually, for Alton Towers. And uh, it was refurbished again into this kind of theming that you see here on the 15th of March, 2008. Um, so yeah, you know, and it's kind of stayed that way for so long. You know, it's a great, so it's the ride manufacturer is done by Mac, so you don't really see many Mac kind of rides doing this type of stuff. It kind of holds around about 20, uh, 1200 riders per hour and the vehicles hold uh, 12 as well. Um, sorry, the, there's 12 things and then there's uh, five riders per one. Duration is around about 1 minute 30, and I actually quite enjoy this ride. You can get a really good spinning action on this ride, can't you guys? We've yeah. been on it before, haven't we, where yeah. you can uh, you actually get some really good kind of stuff as well. So yeah, it kind of gives you a nice kind of things as well, kind of just going over uh, from the old teacups to actually this mutiny kind of bay area uh, kind of theme that they've got now. Right, that is it. Okay, it's now time for Shark Bait Reef, the Sea Life Centre.
Okay, that uh, concludes our end here to our stay at uh, the Alton Terrors Resort and what an absolutely brilliant uh, time that we've had here and I can really kind of see why uh, it's worth the money um, when you kind of stay at these places, it really is. Uh, we've had a really, really good time from start to finish. We got here uh, about three o'clock yesterday and we've been absolutely non-stop uh, action all the way through as well. Finishing off here, um, standing outside the Wicker Man and uh, Catania Canyon as well. Let's quickly just go over to the guys now and see what they say. So, Jake, it's actually sunny. You can't even see. <laughs> how has your stay been? Good. You enjoyed it, yeah? Yeah. And how was the shark bait reef? It was good. Yeah, you can get stuff like... Yeah. You can touch stuff like... Stay in the shop and stuff. 
Yeah? Brilliant, you had a good time in there, yeah? It's got nice, isn't it, to walk around because normally we just rush around there really quick because the rides are open, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Emma, did you enjoy your stay? Yeah. Yeah, you have? Yeah. And you can't see because the sun's in your eyes as well. Yeah. The sun is out, but it's still quite cold, isn't it? Yeah. So, and you got your sweets? Yeah. And we've been munching them on the way home today, won't we? Yeah, and what's been your highlights? Did I sleep last night? Your life sleep last night. It was definitely a great sleep, wasn't it, on your double bed. Yeah. Holly, did you enjoy your stay here? Yeah. You did, and did you enjoy Shock Bay Free? The Sea Life. The Sea Life Centre? Yeah, did you touch any of the animals? Yeah? The starfish. Brilliant. And Becky, did you enjoy your stay here at, um, at Alton Towers? definitely did. Thank yeah, you. it's definitely worth bringing the kids along, wasn't it, to kind of uh, get them uh, kind of involved in that as well and obviously going to the water park and that as well it's been great isn't it yeah we've had a great time yeah definitely so the next time we will be here guys will be to ride Wickerman and obviously the park will be actually fully open won't it yeah, yeah. right that is it guys that is probably a really really long vlog to be fair and hopefully gives you kind of some of the insight into actually what you would get if you stay at the Alton Terrace Resorts as well and obviously it's the room that you kind of would get as well at the same time we had an absolutely fantastic room with a kind of a new upgraded bathroom area and they kind of wanted to kind of show that off uh, in the video so I, um, it was quite nice for them to put me in that room to be able to see that um, but yeah that is it we're walking out now and we are on our way home so it's around about for us around about four hour journey from here so it should be quite nice uh, just to chill out now, put the cruise control on and hopefully get back without any worry and eat all them sweets as well. So that is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching and we'll catch your ass down the road.